might have clicked on one of my budget eco-friendly home projects, DIYs, thrifting, meal ideas, or other ways I save money. My channel is about sharing my journey learning, expanding, and my knowledge and skills on ways to be more resourceful and sustainable living and lifestyle while adapting to the challenges and ever-changing economy. I am sure you too can relate and have similar goals. I love to be creative and I hope by me sharing my journey through life we can learn and grow together. Would be happy if you hit that subscribe button now and I'm so glad you are here today with me. Let's go ahead and get into this video. Hi there, welcome to my basement. It is very dark in here right now because basement doesn't have a whole lot of great lighting and I can't hook up my lighting. We're just gonna go with it today. In today's video, I'm gonna be ha uh, sharing with you guys a refresh on my doors and my trims in my basement. I bought a 1960s home and wanting to do things on a budget, I kind of had to think outside the bo box a little bit. Of course, I had to completely gut and renew spaces in my home where needed, but I want to make sure that I'm going into some of these spaces for one with little to no cost for two thinking kind of outside the box and creatively of how I can lean into these spaces with little to no cost and then thirdly I guess for me when I'm updating a spot in my home I kind of think of it as like if I were to sell my home what would be appealing to me and what would be an eyesore to me. And for this project today, I'm kind of leaning into this space and thinking creatively outside the box a little bit and leaning into how I can update these doors in my basement. Some of the doors are painted, some of them are left completely unpainted and raw. And then some of them have 1960s door trim on it and then some of them have this door trim which is kind of looking like a two by three to me um but i'm working with it and i'm gonna go with it and so in a older video i had my beam here that was already painted like a cream color and then i gel stained over this and so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just go ahead and try to do that with these doors and the trim and so I need to get a lot of indoor projects still done. I have a long to-do list of inside projects that I need to get done, but my focus is top priority things like this. Um, and so I can get into my spring cleaning and get my first round because I want to do two rounds of a garden. So I like an early summer garden and then a late summer or early fall garden as well. My thought processes get into, if I were to sell this home, what would be like kind of like an eyesore and an, a cheap low cost type project for me that's still indoors while it's still cold outside. And so here we are today. Again, I wanna lean into the spaces that are already here. And so what I have on hand that I'm going to use for this project is some caulk I had for another project. So I'm gonna reuse what I already had um, and finish this tube out. And then I have another tube as well. And so that's what I already had on hand. I had gotten quite a few of them when it was on clearance. Um, and then I'm getting a paintable kind. So when I'm painting it, then I can gel stain it and make it match. And you don't really have to caulk door trim or anything like that. But in this instance, I am because of the gaps in between the trim in the wall and then the trim and the door uh, trim pieces and so I just want to make sure to get all of that seamless and put together and so really I just want to make this whole space a little bit more seamless and cozy and inviting and welcoming um, because right now I have two different colors um, on my trim and my door and then on my walls as well and so I want to just make all of this kind of go well with one another hopefully <laughs> and so my um, only thing is is I don't want my gel stain to be looking very shiny I want it to look more natural muted color and so on this 
This beam right here, you can see it's kind of shiny because of the lighting here in this basement. It does kind of reflect on to the beam and make it look really kind of shiny and I want to bring that down. So if it does end up shiny like this, I will take a matte polyurethane at the end of this and hopefully bring that kind of shininess down. But in today's project, I have no, I, this isn't going to cost me anything out right of pocket because I already had a lot of the stuff on hand. And when I was working on another project, I had bought caulk already. And so um, if you want to make sh make that into the cost, it was only like a couple of bucks for it. And I already have a caulk gun. Um, and then I have my paintbrush, my paint opener, and then I have my paint. So this was paint from under the sink. And so this cost me at no charge. And again, and I am going to be using a matte a matte kind of tan color on the trim and the doors so that when I put the gel stain over, hopefully it will absorb and not make it shiny, but we shall see. I'm not an expert on this. Luckily, we have a ton of YouTubers that do instructional videos. So if you're wanting a more instructional video, um, go check out some, some people that are gel staining. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to first caulk then paint and then we'll gel stain and so this will be a series of um days with that i am going to get get this done four doors and i have to do the back and the front of all of those uh with painting and then i have five trims um, that i need to caulk and paint as well and i would take the doors off to, to paint them but i don't think i'm going to do that in this because of the weather outside, it is cold out and I'm not going to have a lot of space to be painting and prepping these doors. Um, so I think going ahead and leaving them up right so that way I don't have to flip them either if they were like laying on the ground. So I think that's just going to be the best is to leave everything up and um, kind of paint around things as where it needs to be painted around but we're gonna go ahead and get started. Thank you so much for being here today and let's get into this video. first want to just go ahead and clean your doors and your trim just give it a good cleaning and then um, you don't have to caulk any of your trim I did because of the gapping I didn't do it on all the door trims but I did it just where there was larger gaps on these like two by threes or one by twos or whatever these trim pieces that were used now after you apply your material you do want to take uh, that and just take your finger or a tool or even like a wet washcloth or a microfiber cloth or what have you and just run it through and smooth it out and so that's what i'm doing here
I rant and rave about under the sink. They are a great place you can drop your toxic type chemicals and other things like paints and things like that. Um, so if that they do dump it, they dump it safely, but they have a little store that you can get your paints and even like cleaning products and things like that they have in there sometimes. Um, but it's really whatever is dropped off is that stuff that they can put back out for people to take for free. And so it is kind of like set up like a store. So you go in, you kind of shop in there and then you go up to the front. Some exclusions of what you can and cannot do. And so a lot of it is just, I think for safety reasons of why they have kind of like, I don't know, some rules and regulations um, for people getting um, chemicals and things like that. So at any rate, I got this whole huge jug of paint here. It's a gallon of paint and it's a matte kind of tan color. So it'll be easy to gel stain over just kind of like how I did my beam. I will try to link that video in probably in a card here or down in the description below. I didn't share with you, but I showed you guys here just a second ago, a tool that I got from the Dollar Tree. That was a dollar 25 and it's just a paint, uh, edging paint kind of tool to help you so you don't have to tape your trim and your edging pieces which i might end up having to do when i get to the gel staining part but i thought i wanted to share with you All right, so I'm gonna make this into a two-part video. So this is a sneak peek on me getting started on the gel staining process. And I hope that you hang tight on this and come back next week so I can share with you guys this gel staining process. And I'm really excited to reveal this to you guys and um, show how transforming this can really be and how low cost this can be and freshening up your space and giving it life again. So hang tight, stick around if you're new, subscribe, and I hope that you all have a good one. See you soon, bye. Thank you.